Hey everybody, this is Kasu, and welcome to another art mod review, this time for Mystical Menagerie. A peculiar mod which adds uh, basically some more interesting creatures rather than your usual uh, dinosaurs and stuff. Basically, all these creatures are much more fantasy rather than uh, accurate. Without further ado, let's begin. First up are the shoulder pads, and first on the list is these three crabs. So these three are the unicorn crab, both the original X variant and the R variant. Only the unicorn crab in this uh, mod has a difference uh, other than just you know colors and patterns on the back. In order to tame the uniform, the uniform, the unicorn crab, uh, it is a passive tame which you need to feed it either sport meat or other unicorn crab's legs, which you can get by killing it. So, what can they do other than being a shoulder mount pet? Well. Each of them has two buffs that you can choose. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to choose the buffs, so it's I guess it's for you to find out. So for the original unicorn crab, which is the middle one here, uh, you can either get buff A, which is a 7% damage boost for you and your mount, or buff B, which is a 10% movement speed bonus for you and your mount. For the R variant, the two buffs are either 10% damage resistance for you and your mounts, or a immunity to most stun for you and your mount. And lastly, for the X variant, it is either immunity, immunity to most aberrant and lunar radiation for you and your mount, or increased oxygen for you and your mount comparable to the scuba tank. And that is the unicorn crab. Up next is these two. These are the Lux Fox. The Lux Fox uh, are passive tame, and their preferred taming food is rare mushrooms. So what is the Lux Fox other than a just a light pet, or rather an aberration pet? Well, the Lux Fox has a special ability, which is, if I was mouse over here, as you see in the emote, emote menu, uh, you have all the things, uh, you have all of this stuff, but the most important thing is this dig button here. So if I use the dig button, we will do a little animation, and you can see from the left, I gain 42 crystals, uh, I gain crystals, green gems, and red gems. Also, the item that the Luxor can dig up are crystals, mushrooms, flowers, and gems. And uh, one last thing to note is that the Ghost Lux Fox is only available if you cheat summon it. So it, is not, uh, spawn, it doesn't spawn it out in the open. Up next from uh, Shoulder Pets are Rideable Teams. This is the Theodimus, and they come in 5 variants, and again the Ghost variant is only able to be uh, cheat summoned. So they come in X variant, the original variant, R variant, and Aberrant variant. To tame a Teodimus, you have to tame it using the Aqueous Tame method, where you have to sneak up on the uh, Teodimus, jump on, uh, ride it, and as it's bucking, uh, try to let it tire and then feed it um, its preferred taming food. Its preferred taming food are meat and superior kibble. So what can it do? So for the Teodimus, Left click is a bite attack that deals 85 damage. Right click while moving is a claw swipe attack that hits twice. Right click while standing still however is a kick that deals uh, some proper damage I think. Yes it does. So this creature has a charge mechanic where the longer you run the faster you go and you have the heart meter over there. And if you were to left click while charging you will deal way more damage than your original bite attack. And lastly, O is an aesthetic roar. And that is the Theodimus. Up next is the Beta B. The Beta B is, other than being an oversized dire bear, a creature that is only tameable using a the Trank Tame, basically the knockout tame as all other creatures are. Its preferred for taming food is honey and superior kibo. Now let's see what is, what the difference between this and a normal dire bear is. So, Left click is a bite attack. Right click is a claw swipe. And lastly, C key is, as I quote from the uh, link or the guide link, not the bees. This will summon 10 bees to your Beraba site to, uh, to uh, attack any enemies that you, are, that you have. Like so. Uh, it's. Pretty useful for taming and 
not taming. It's very useful for, especially in a tight spot. And also a lot of like DPS is always good. As you can tell, they are just killing everything. More likely or not, they're set to aggressive. So yeah. And that is the beta B. Oh my god, what the fuck? Up next is something familiar if you do play Leto Company. Uh, this is the Jaw Hound, aka the Eyeless Dog from Leto Company. However, it's very different, don't worry. So, to tame this creature, you have to use the Trank Tame method. His preferred taming food are Meat and Superior Cable. So, his left click ability is a Bite Attack. His right click ability is a triple bite attack that will deal Daenon style bleed but let's try on something tankier so that it does not uh, so I can show it to you as you can see it deals 3 bleeding status and you can basically just stack it up to 5 times and his C key is the uh, it's called lockjaw grapple so the lockjaw grapple is a bit more interesting I'll explain. Uh, rather, I'll read off uh, the guide website. When lock draw grapple uh, begins, uh, the draw hound will try to latch onto the target. If the target is below 400 drag weight, the draw hound will grapple the target, similar to the Stegosaurus impale, leaving it uh, and leaving it and you unable to move. It will then do 0.5% of a target's HP per second that is grappled to the target as well. However, the heavier a target jaw hung tries to grapple, the more exhausting it is to keep it pinned. When a target is released from the lock jaw grapple, it applies gash that peaks at 5000 damage per application. If the target is too big to grapple, the jaw hung will apply the gash debuff on it. So let's try it on this sheet first. As you can tell, I have it grappled, and if I were to release it, that, like that, it just has the gash effect. Okay, now let's try it on this Triceratops. If I use the uh, C key again. As you can tell, it just uh, basically just do a gash effect. It doesn't lock it down or anything. Okay, I summoned another uh, Draw Hound to show you the left control ability, which is Pack Raw. So, when used, uh, the creature has a Pack Mate buff, where it applies 20% resistance and 25% damage increase. More, like, more or less similar to the wolf. Next up is the space key. Space key is a charge jump. So if I just press space key once, I do a small leap. But if I were to hold it down, then after that little butt wiggle, I can jump pretty far. Uh, from what I understand, this a is similar to the Reaper King. Or as how I see it, it's similar to uh, the frog jumping. As you can tell, based on the direction you press, you can jump really, really far. And lastly, it is OK, which is Aesthetic Raw. And that was the Jawhound. Second last creature on the list is the Prismatic Wyvern. The Prismatic Wyvern is similar to all Wyverns, except it looks very pretty, I guess? Like, look at those eyelashes. I know certain Skadies will like it. And to show you how it truly looks like uh this is how the wings are this is how the tail is ending off with this flap and again like i said the eyes the eyes are very uh interesting so how do you tame one uh it's tame similar to all other wyverns steal the eggs now let's take a look at his abilities left click both in the sky and on the ground is a bite attack. Right click, both in the sky and the ground, is a charge blast. As you can see, that the charge shot put at, uh, at the bottom. And once it's fully charged, it will basically fire a shot of plasma that will deal around 200 damage. Also, uh, you must fully charge the shot in order to use it. You can't charge it halfway and try to use it. So next up is C key, where while on the ground it do, does a blinding cloud, which deals flashbang. Um, what flashbang does is that uh, it will blind anyone who stands in it. 
more or less, if I'm not wrong, if it's used on players, you'll be not able to see anything. But if you use it on a dinosaur, uh, it's not gonna do much. Next up, his CQ on the air is an air dash. Like so. However, uh, this air dash cannot be used while turning. And O key is the aesthetic roar. And that was the uh, prismatic wyvern. Obviously, a very pretty creature, but again, the eyes a bit too pretty and a bit weird. Last on the list is the bulwark. The bulwark is, as you can see, very shark like. Hence, it is a semi aquatic creature. To tame one of these bad boys, you have to use the tropiop taming method, which is a passive tame, but you have to first chain bola it. Quite a big problem for this guy. But what does it do? Well, oh, let's take a look. Well, on land, it is not very slow per se, but it is relatively slow. So for its left click attack, it is a bite attack. This bite attack slows enemies, apparently, and also reduces the armor by 50%. Let's try again on this Triceratops here. So as you can see, I deal 105 damage to this Triceratops. But once I hit it now, I'm doing 119 damage. Basically, more damage. Also, the crush effect is basically the slow debuff effect. Right click is claw swipe, which is uh, basically a claw swipe. However, this claw swipe has the armor pierce effect. The C key while on land is a tail swipe attack that can knock back even a triceratops pretty far. That is all the abilities on land. Now let's go to the water. So while in the water, uh, this creature is faster, like way faster. So while in the water, left click is still your standard bite attack, right click is still your uh, claw attack. But other than those two abilities, it does have an extra ability, which is left control, which is a charge. So this charge uh, basically will make you move forward as so, as such. And by the end of it, uh, it will just slow down and that's it. And you have to wait for a little bit of cooldown before you can use the charge again. However, if you are to charge and just keep spamming left click, you will do a corkscrew attack, which as you saw just now, just makes you spin like so. This corkscrew attack uh, does hurt quite a bit if I can hit someone. Like so. It dealt like 202 damage, which is a lot more than a, a lot of my other abilities do. And lastly is his X key, which is Taste the Water. Uh, this Taste the Water ability is similar to a Dire Wolf that it can sense weak creature in the water. However, I'm hitting the X key, I don't really see any weak creatures in the water. So I'm not sure if it's working or not working. Also, just a quick tip, the charge, the charge ability uh, is able to last pretty long uh, if you keep using the corkscrew attack at the end. So just spam your left click and you can move pretty fast across the water. And lastly is this O key, which is an aesthetic raw. And with that, I have come to the end of the Mystical Menagerie mod showcase. If you guys have any other mods that you wish to show or want me to review uh please leave it down in the comments below and the mods that i'm kind of looking for are more towards uh creatures mod or any mods that actually changes uh the game and with that i will end this video here thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video or stream bye